Hello traders, this is Fausto again from Cyber Trading. If you're watching this video, it's because you probably watched part one that I did yesterday on short squeeze. So I wanted to make a part two version of it because I wanna show you what happened to the, some of these stocks that you, when you get caught in your short squeezes, what ends up happening and how they end up becoming a short squeeze so you don't get yourself hurt. And also if you are a trader, how you can capitalize and make a lot of money. If you are watching this video for the first time, just click on the bottom, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and you will get the alerts of other tips like this and be able to watch the uh, the first part of Short Squeeze. So let's get right into part two. Want to kind of talk a little about this stock right here. Uh, one of the stocks that we were trading yesterday was the um, is the NTN. Now you could see right here how the stock literally went at three o'clock ran from $2, let me just blow this up really quick so you see it a little bit bigger here. The stock literally at three o'clock ran from $1.90, roughly $2, and shot up all the way to $5 a share. Then it kind of did a little shake here in the after hours, and then in pre-market, where we also do very well, that's where we do most of our trade, it ran actually to $7.50. That is a huge winner. Now, what is a short squeeze? What exactly does that mean? Well, basically what it means is that um, a lot of algorithms do kick in, and what happens is that they're um, predicting the stock to go down, and they keep doubling and tripling down, and what it means like they um, – something similar to like averaging down where they average up to kind of like on a short. They keep selling more and then doubling and tripling, quadrupling, but as they're, as they're selling it, the stock goes up, and they're buying it back, and then they're, they're doubling it. They're buying it back, and they're tripling it. And that caused a big chain reaction, and that's what happened with NTN. Eventually, it's going to uh, come crashing down, and obviously the shorts will go heavily into it. They could be shorting, let's say, 1,000 shares. By the time this thing goes up, they could probably be shorting 10, 20, 50,000 shares. But as us day traders, we profit from this because we have certain alerts. It tells us what's moving and what's running up. So we, you know, we don't need to buy it at two and sell it at seven. We buy it at three, we sell it at four, we make a dollar, a thousand shares, not a lot of money, as you know. You make a thousand dollars, you do it every day, it is your quarter million dollars. But um, but a couple of them I just want to kind of show you if you watch part one, that we saw a lot of these examples, how they did take off. Let me show you the biggest one that we traded. Look at this stock right now, it's down 55%. It's down $15, but what you don't know is what happened yesterday. This stock was a huge short squeeze. Right out of the gate at 9.30 in the morning, you could see right here, the stock started at $6 a share, and then by 10 o'clock, it got halted. Not once, several times, shot up to $18. When's the last time you saw that? What was the news? I don't know, and I don't care, and chances are most of these short squeezes don't have any news. Then you could see the stock kind of hovered around during the day, and it shot right back up. Like I showed you in, uh, in video one on short squeeze, stock ran from $11 to $40 in less than an hour. Unprecedented. Unbelievable. All the way right to the bell uh, of the close of the market, and then it came crashing down in the after hours. That is a short squeeze of a short squeeze of a short squeeze. But... Let's talk about part two. Eventually, the shorts, the shorts are going to cover, and they're going to win. I don't know how, how in debt or how much they lost, but now you can see the stock is right back to, realistically, uh, where it was somewhere around yesterday in the middle of the day, which is right around the $12 a share. So, you know, it's very dangerous to be in a short squeeze. And um, there's a lot of them that we're in. Them. We probably trade in our trading room probably maybe... I don't know, maybe two to five a day, you know, as in, and we always find them and they always get halted. They're a lot of fun, but you got to be a little advanced. So if you want to uh, come and join our trading room, just like I said, just like us, uh, you could jump in our trading room and you could see them. Actually, I'm on YouTube live every morning at 9 a.m. And we actually find them even in the pre-market. Uh, but here, but I just want to show you the, the after effect on certain stocks. Now, there were a couple of them today that also did a, did a short squeeze. Here's one right here, CARV. Look at this one. The stock started just the other day, the day before, roughly around $1.80. The thing ran to $25. Now, listen, fellow traders, ain't penny stocks. And, you know, this is just what a short squeeze is. That's basically what it is. 
Look at that chart. The stock hasn't gone anywhere, but it just shot up from 8 o'clock in the morning up until 10 o'clock, going right out to 9.30, shot all the way to $22 a share, and then obviously came crashing down, so they kept shorting and shorting and shorting. Um, one last thing I do want to talk about before we go is I also want to talk about a uh, something that people I've trained over the years. I saved people a lot of money on this, but there is something called a reverse stock split. So we're going to do a video on reverse stock splits, uh, like what happened with Groupon. Groupon is not a $31 stock, but but when they do reverse stock splits, I think it's something very important that you got to know, and you should subscribe to us. And I'm going to do a uh, I'm going to do a video on it because, like I said, this is also a topic in itself. But um, but what's very important is you have to understand how to deal with short squeezes and you do not want to get squeezed because if you get squeezed, you can get crushed. And just remember, fellow traders, you're one trade away of blowing your account up. So here at Cybertrain University, we're not here to teach you how to make money. We're here to teach you how to stop losing it. Once you learn how to stop losing money, the winners end up taking care of themselves. Thanks for watching. Once again, subscribe to us and I look forward to seeing you on upcoming training videos on how to trade today's volatile markets. Thank you very much for watching.